He is known for his influential contributions to both analytic philosophy and continental philosophy. He is recognized for arguing that immediate experience and intuition are more important than abstract rationalism and science. He is Henri Louis Bergson, a French philosopher who received the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1927. Henri Louis Bergson, a renowned French philosopher, was a leading figure in both analytic and continental philosophy during the first half of the 20th century. His groundbreaking ideas challenged the dominance of abstract rationalism and science, emphasizing the significance of immediate experience and intuition in understanding reality. Bergson's profound insights and brilliant presentation earned him accolades and recognition. In 1927, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature, with the citation acknowledging his rich and vitalizing ideas and the remarkable skill with which he conveyed them. This prestigious honor further solidified his position as a prominent philosopher of his time. Despite his acclaim, Bergson's ideas stirred controversy in his native France. His views were seen as a departure from the secular and scientific mindset embraced by the country's officials. Nevertheless, his popularity continued to grow, and in 1930, he received the Grand Croix de la Légion d'Honneur, the highest honor bestowed by France. Henri Louis Bergson's legacy lies not only in his innovative philosophical concepts but also in his ability to challenge prevailing intellectual paradigms. His contributions continue to inspire and shape philosophical discourse, leaving an indelible mark on the field of philosophy for generations to come. Henri Bergson, a renowned philosopher, delved into the concept of creativity and its significance in our lives. He believed that novelty and creativity emerge from pure undetermined creation rather than being predetermined by mechanistic forces. Bergson's philosophy emphasized pure mobility, unforeseeable novelty, creativity, and freedom, making it a process philosophy. In his critique of Kant's theory of knowledge and his conception of truth, Bergson aimed to redefine the relationship between science and metaphysics, intelligence and intuition. He argued for the necessity of expanding thought's possibilities through the use of intuition, which he believed offered a closer understanding of the absolute and real life as pure duration. To avoid the limitations of concepts, Bergson often employed images and metaphors in his writings, as they better captured the essence of reality. For instance, he used the example of swimming, explaining that thought alone would never have deduced it from walking. To truly understand swimming, one must jump into the water and experience it. According to Bergson, intelligence is a practical faculty shaped by evolution and used by humans to survive, rather than a purely speculative one. Bergson's most notable work, The Creative Evolution, aimed to explore the continuous creation of life and challenge Herbert Spencer's mechanistic philosophy of evolution. He believed that Spencer's approach failed to capture the essence of life's continuous creation and instead viewed it as a progressive development of a predetermined program. Bergson opposed this notion, seeking a deeper understanding of life's evolution. Responding to the prevailing mechanistic philosophies of his time and the shortcomings of finaliism, Bergson proposed his own philosophy, known as Levin's philosophy. He argued that finaliism could not adequately explain the concept of duration and the continuous creation of life. Finaliism viewed life as the unfolding of an initially determined program, akin to a genetic program. Bergson sought to find a middle ground between mechanism and finaliism, introducing the concept of the Elon Vital, an original impulse that disperses through evolution into contradictory tendencies. Bergson's philosophy also challenged the idea of planning for the future. He believed that time unfolds unforeseen possibilities, rendering preconceived plans impossible. He argued that historical events can only be explained retrospectively by the conditions that made them possible. Using the analogy of a symphony, Bergson suggested that the symphony of the future cannot be predicted because if the musician knew what would be the best symphony for their time, they would have already created it. In his view, the effect creates its cause. Bergson's philosophy of creativity offers valuable insights into our daily lives. It encourages us to embrace novelty, mobility, and creativity, recognizing that the unexpected can lead to new possibilities. By relying on intuition and experiencing life firsthand, we can tap into a deeper understanding of reality. Bergson's ideas remind us to be open to unforeseen opportunities and to approach life with a sense of wonder and curiosity. Henri Bergson, a prominent philosopher of the 19th and 20th centuries, embarked on a quest to improve the inadequacies of Herbert Spencer's philosophy. In his doctoral thesis, Time and Free Will, an essay on the immediate data of consciousness, Bergson introduced his groundbreaking theory of duration as a response to his influential predecessor, Immanuel Kant. Kant believed that free will existed outside of time and space, separate from the deterministic nature of the universe. However, Bergson disagreed, arguing that Kant and other philosophers had mistakenly conflated time with its spatial representation. 
According to Bergson, duration is not an extended, linear progression but rather an unextended and heterogeneous concept. Its parts cannot be simply juxtaposed as a succession of distinct moments, with one causing the other. Rejecting determinism, Bergson posited that free will is pure mobility, an inherent characteristic of duration itself. He argued that reality is composed of constant change and that the notion of a fixed, predetermined future is an impossibility. Bergson's philosophy championed the idea that individuals possess the power to act autonomously and make choices that are not predetermined by external forces. Bergson's theory of duration has profound implications for daily life. It reminds us that we are not passive beings subject to the whims of fate, but active agents capable of shaping our own destinies. It encourages us to embrace the inherent fluidity of existence and to recognize that change is not something to be feared, but rather an essential aspect of our being. By embracing the concept of duration, we can cultivate a sense of personal freedom, empowering us to make conscious choices and live a more authentic and fulfilling life. Henri Bergson's philosophy of duration offers a refreshing perspective on time, consciousness, and human agency. His rejection of determinism and emphasis on free will provide us with valuable tools to navigate the complexities of modern life. By understanding and embracing the fluid nature of existence, we can transcend the limitations imposed by external forces and shape our own realities. Bergson's profound insights continue to resonate today, reminding us of the power we hold to create meaningful lives in an ever-changing world. Henri Bergson, a renowned philosopher, introduced the concept of intuitionism as a way to understand the true nature of reality. According to Bergson, reality is not something that can be fully grasped through fixed concepts. Instead, he argued that one can only truly understand reality through his method of intuition. To illustrate this, Bergson used two powerful images in his book, An Introduction to Metaphysics. The first image he presented was that of a city. He explained that when we analyze a city, we can create concepts and models based on various perspectives and photographs. However, these concepts can never capture the true essence of walking through the city itself. The dimensional value of the experience can only be grasped through intuition. Similarly, Bergson used the example of reading a line of Homer's poetry. One may translate the line and provide extensive commentary, but these efforts can never fully capture the simple, dimensional value of experiencing the original poem itself. This, too, can only be understood through intuition. For Bergson, the method of intuition is a way of getting back to the things themselves. It involves abandoning the limitations of concepts and immobile ideas and instead immersing oneself in direct, immediate experience. Through intuition, one can tap into the essence of reality and gain a deeper understanding of its unity and multiplicity. Bergson's philosophy of intuitionism has practical implications for our daily lives. It encourages us to go beyond mere intellectual analysis and engage with the world directly. By embracing intuition, we can cultivate a more profound connection with our surroundings, allowing us to appreciate the richness and depth of our experiences. Henri Bergson, the renowned French philosopher, had a unique perspective on the concept of evolution. In his groundbreaking work, Creative Evolution, he introduced the idea of Elon Vital, which aimed to provide an explanation for the process of evolution. This vital impetus, as Bergson described it, offered a departure from the mechanical understanding of evolution and instead emphasized a more lively and dynamic approach. Bergson's concept of Elon Vital not only sought to explain the biological evolution of species but also accounted for the creative impulse within humanity. He believed that this vital force was responsible for driving the progression and development of life forms, going beyond the mere mechanisms of natural selection. According to Bergson, Elon Vital infused life with a sense of purpose and vitality, making evolution a more vibrant and dynamic process. Interestingly, Bergson's ideas on Elon Vital led some to categorize him as a proponent of vitalism, a philosophical stance that emphasizes the existence of a vital force or energy in living organisms. However, it is important to note that Bergson explicitly criticized vitalism in his work, The Creative Evolution. He argued against the idea of purely internal finality or clearly defined individuality in nature, debunking the notion of a separate vital force guiding the evolutionary process. Bergson's concept of Elon Vital holds relevance even in our daily lives. It encourages us to view evolution and progress as more than just a mechanical sequence of events. By recognizing the presence of a vital impetus, we can appreciate the dynamic and creative aspects of life. This perspective invites us to embrace change, adapt to new circumstances, and explore our own creative potential in the face of challenges and uncertainties. Henri Bergson's philosophy reminds us that life is not merely a series of predetermined events, but a continuous and evolving process. By acknowledging the presence of Elon Vital, 
we can find inspiration to live fully and engage with the world around us, embracing the inherent vitality and creativity that exists within each of us. In his groundbreaking work, Laughter, an essay on the meaning of the comic, Henri Bergson explores the nature of laughter and how it can be provoked. He delves into the process of laughter, often utilized by comics and clowns, which he describes as a caricature of the mechanistic nature of humans. According to Bergson, laughter is a manifestation of one of the two tendencies of life. However, Bergson cautions us that the criterion for what should be laughed at is not a moral criterion. He emphasizes that laughter, although often seen as harmless, can actually cause serious damage to a person's self-esteem. In this regard, he urges us to be mindful of the potential consequences of our laughter. Bergson's essay also reveals his opposition to the Cartesian theory of the animal machine. He rejects the idea that humans are mere automatons, driven solely by mechanistic processes. Instead, he highlights the complexity and vitality of human existence, suggesting that laughter serves as a reminder of our innate humanity. In essence, Bergson's exploration of laughter provides us with a deeper understanding of its purpose and implications. It reminds us that laughter is not simply a frivolous act, but rather a reflection of our humanity and an expression of the complexities of life. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.